Hey kiddos, welcome to this week's homework, which is looking at equivalent fractions. Before we get started, I just want to let you know that on this style of homework, I'm not going to be able to tell you exactly what your answer should be because there are an infinite, meaning uncountable amount of answers to these questions because as long as we multiply our numerator and denominator by the same number, our answer is equivalent. So I'm going to go through what these would look like, what some examples of answers could be. But if you have specific questions on whether or not you did your homework correct, you can send me a picture in the chat um, or the messaging, and I will take a look at yours specifically, okay? So let's dive into it. So again, I'm asking you to create two equivalent fractions. So I'm looking for two answers, and we're starting with one half. So I can pick any number to multiply these by. And as long as I multiply the top and the bottom, the numerator and denominator by the same thing, my answer will be correct. So I'm gonna start with multiplying it by three. One times three is three. Two times three is six. That would be a great example. I could also multiply by four. One times four is four. Two times four is eight. Both of these would be examples. Again, any number that you choose, as long as you use it on the top and the bottom, numerator and denominator, your answer is correct. Coming over here, I'm going to do five as my first one. Five times five is 25. Six times five is 30. And then for my second one, I'm going to do 10 because 10 is nice and easy. Five times 10 is 50. 6 times 10 is 60. Both of these would be equivalent fractions. Again, as long as you choose the same number to multiply by the top and bottom, you are good to go. This time I'm going to choose 4 and 6 as my 2. So doing our 4, 2 times 4 is 8. 5 times 4 is 20. 2 times 6 is 12. 5 times 6 is 30. These are just two of many examples of answers we could have. Let's do two first. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Keep it simple. Let's do five. Two times five is 10. Five times four is 20. Again, examples of some of the many answers that would be correct. Let's do six. Two times six is 12. Six times eight is 48. Let's also do two. Two times two is four, eight times two is 16, two of many possible answers. Let's do five. Two times five is 10, 10 times five is 50, and let's also do 10. Two times 10 is 20, 10 times 10 is 100. Two of many possible correct answers. Again, if you want specific feedback on your homework, please send it to me and I will reply to that. All right, sweet faces, continuing. Remember, we're using multiplication to create two equivalent fractions. I can choose any number I want to multiply them by as long as I keep them the same. So I'm going to start with two. Six times two is 12. Ten times two is 20. I'm also going to do three. Six times three is 18. Ten times three is 32 of many possible correct answers. Let's start with four. Five times four is 28 times four is 32. And then let's also do two. Five times two is 10. Eight times two is 16. Both of these are correct. I can also look here and see that if I divided by two, I would get to this other option. So I can see right there that they are in fact equivalent to each other. All right, over at three-fourths, let's do times three. Three times three is nine. Four times three is 12. Let's also do five. Five is a fantastic number. Five times three is 15. Four times five is 20. Remember, you can multiply them by the same thing. You don't have to continue to pick different numbers. If you wanted to do three and four on all of them, you can. If you wanted to do five and 10, this is your choice. Remember, as long as it's equivalent, you're good to go. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 2 is 6. I'm also going to do 10 because 10 is my friend. 2 times 10 is 20. 3 times 10 is 30. That brings us, oh, I was too quick. That brings us to the last row. Let's do 3. 4 times 3 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. Let's also do 5. 4 times 5 is 20. 6 times 5 is 32 of many possible answers. 
And then over here, we're going to do 2. 4 times 2 is 8. 5 times 2 is 10. And let's do a 3. 4 times 3 is 12. 5 times 3 is 15. Now that brings us to the end of our second page. If you need specific feedback or would like it, please send your homework directly to me. Otherwise, bring any questions with you to class. All right, on to page number three. We are rocking and rolling, my friends. Now remember, you can pick something crazy like 1,247 and multiply them both by that. We don't have to. We can pick numbers we're comfortable with between two and nine. But just know that you can choose any number that you can think of. And if you multiply the top and the bottom, numerator and denominator by them correctly, your answer is equivalent. But I am team keep it simple. Two times three is six. 12 times three is 36. Let's also do two because we may not know our 12s facts. Two times two is four. 12 times two is 24. Over to our next one. Let's do six. One times six is six. Four times six is 24. And let's do three. One times three is three. Four times three is 12. All right, we're gonna keep moving and grooving. Let's do two for this one. Four times two is eight. 10 times two is 20. And let's do five. Again, I'm just picking random numbers. Five and four is 20. 10 and five is 50, okay? Doesn't have to be anything specific. It can be the multiplier that you are most comfortable with. It could be whatever number pops into your head. Three times four is 12. Six times four is 24. Three times two is six. Six times two is 12. Keep it simple. This time I'm gonna do a five and a 10. Three times 10 is 30. Eight times 10 is 80. Three times five is 15. Eight times five is 40. Over here, Let's do a five and a 10 again. They worked out well last time. Two times 10 is 20, four times 10 is 40. Two times five is 10, four times five is 20. That brings us to the end of page three. Any questions, bring them with you to class. Arts and faces on to page four. At this point, you know the drill. We are choosing any number that we want to multiply by as long, ooh, as they are the same, as long as they are the same. So I'm going to do two and three this time. Three times two is six. 100 times three is 300. Two times two is four. 100 times two is 200. Sliding over, let's start with two. Sevens and eights are not our favorite, but we can do them because we can do hard things. We prove it every day. Seven times two is 14. Eight times two is 16. Let's do three. Seven and three is 21. Eight and three is 24. We did it. All right, I see a five. So I'm gonna do a five and a three. I'm gonna use the numbers that are in the fractions this time. Three times three is nine. Five times three is 15. Three times five is 15. Five times five is 25. Again, I'm choosing any numbers that pop into my head. And as long as I use them on the top and the bottom, I have created an equivalent fraction. Two times four is eight. Four times six is 24. Two times two is four. Six times two is 12. We have two twelfths. Let's keep it simple. Twelves can be tricky. Two and four is eight. 12 times four, remember fours are a double double. So if I double my 12, I get 24. I double it again, I get 48. Use your strategies. Two times two is four. 12 times two is 24. Let's do a three. Seven and three is 21. 10 and three is 30. And let's do a five. Seven and five is 35. 10 and five is 50. That brings us to the end of page number four. Bring your questions to class, my friends. And with that, we're on to our last and final page of the week. If you've gotten this far, congratulations. Great job practicing this week's skill. All right, we have nine. Let's do times two. Nine times two is 18. 10 times two is 20. And let's do three. 
Nine times three is 27. 10 times three is 30. Over here, we're going to keep it simple because we have a 12. Two and two is four. 12 and two is 24. Let's go crazy with our second one. Let's do 10. Two times 10 is 20. 12 times 10 is 120. Remember, 10 is our friend, even with big numbers. Let's do it here. Because when we multiply by 10, all we're doing is adding a zero. 12 times 10, 120. 100 times 10, 1,000. This is big. It's still equivalent. Let's also do a two. 12 and two is 24. 100 and two is 200. Let's do a five and a six. Five times one is five. Five times five is 25. Six times one is six. Six times five is 30. Let's do a seven. We haven't done a seven yet. Seven and one is seven. Six and seven is 42. And let's do, let's go crazy. Let's do an eight. One times eight is eight. Six times eight is 48. Remember, sevens and eights are hard, but we can do it if we try. Seven times six is 42. Seven times eight is 56. Six times six is 36. Six times eight is 48. We did it, mathletes. We are to the end of our homework for this week. Have a magical weekend. I will see you guys next week.